to what people say. I'm not going to change. I'm going to endure until the end. The Bible says, He's not given to the swift, neither the strong. He given to the one that in you to the end. All right, you have a shem, you have a shop, rock and throw. Shalom, I'm Akim. Thanks for today's lesson is just being on an idle, being an idle servant and it's true and the effect it has on you, you know, and uh, get straight to it. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 33 verse 27, well, I start at verse 25. If thou set thy servant to labor, thou shalt find rest, but if thou let him go idle, he shall seek liberty. A yoke and a collar do bow the neck, so are tortures and torments for an evil servant. Send him to labor that he be not idle, for idleness teacheth much evil. So, um, what are we in this truth? We're servants. We're servants of the Lord. And that's all throughout the scriptures. That's who we serve. And, and what's our labor? Our labor is this truth. And it said, for much idleness, teach of wickedness so how does that play into us when you um you could be at home or whatever when you're not doing the work when you're not coming out to the highways when you're not reading when you're not studying like you're supposed to things um you start having evil thoughts you start trying to watch porn you start trying to uh, uh Figure out how you gonna get money, how you just gonna be this guy who, who trying to be the man, you trying to be the guy who um, you might start thinking about going to college, you might, it's just a number of things that you would try to do because you're idle, you're not focused on the word. So now you're starting to get into worldly things. And you're starting to become uh, a worldly person. And that's how a lot of guys fall out. A lot of guys start to uh, stop reading and they start putting their mind on to pussy. Start worrying about women all the time. Or worrying about money all the time. And that's, that's a, uh, and that's an, those are basically examples of how idleness work wickedness, man. And that's why we gotta keep our head drilled up in uh, this word. Alright, and I get another scripture. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 11. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Exactly, so um, we have to labor in order to actually get the rest that we desire, man. We can't find it here. And that word labor for, uh, in that verse in the Greek is uh, spudazo. And that means to exert oneself, to show diligence. So where where are your time going to go into? To this here. So what you work a lot. You work 14 hours and you do this and you do that. This is still, at, at the end of the day, this is where you're coming home to. This is your woman, this is your first love. This is the one you come back home to, right here. And this is the one that's gonna accept you, you know? But if you not, man, and you out doing wickedness, and you out not focused on this, you gonna fall into those traps and um, other traps that were just named, man. Because one thing Satan like to do is your old, uh, uh, passions that you had back in the world that's what he tries to use against you while you in the truth so with that man that was basically it just uh bro stay focused in the word and, and continue to do the work man and, and that's pretty much the conclusion of the whole matter like ecclesiastes 12 and 13 say you focus on the Lord, nothing else, you know. Kill all that other madness that's going on. Alright? And with that, 
uh, all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders, honors to you brothers who are out there sincerely doing the work and truth, and Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatham, Shalom, Amen.